Hello Mr. Nilsson here, welcome to Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy Fortune Street Special <coughs> or Itadaki Street Special It's like a game that plays uh, similar to Monopoly, uh, the board game or Mario Party game that I used to play on the Nintendo 64 It's been released I believe on many consoles since many Nintendo consoles but uh, I, I've never really played this game I uploaded a video where the AI played this game previously. Okay, the, tra the trailer starts if, if we wait too long. The, this game is from 2004. It was released in Japan only, but I believe there is a hack for it that turns it into English. So the entire game has been translated and can be played in English <coughs> on a shipped PlayStation 2 or on an emulator. It's not really my type anymore. I, I remember enjoying <coughs> Mario Party with some friends when I was like around the age of 10, I think. On the Nintendo 64, female friend had a game, Mario Party 3, I believe, that I used to play with her and, and another friend back in the day. But besides that, I've never really played Mario Party either. And uh, this game is very similar to it, but has Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy characters. Half of the characters are Dragon Quest, characters from different Dragon Quest games, spanning Dragon Quest 1 to Dragon Quest 8. Uh, and then I believe that the Final Fantasy games are spanning Final Fantasy 7 to Final Fantasy 12. So Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 and 12 characters. So Final Fantasy 12 released in 2006, I believe, and this game released in 2004. So it's two, year, two years earlier than the Final Fantasy 12 game, but it still includes two characters from Final Fantasy 12. Let's check the, <coughs> the characters. Alright, so the Dragon Quest characters are to the left have uh, this character from Dragon Quest 2. <coughs> I don't know much about Dragon Quest, you see. I've read up on some of the games and watched some reviews, but the only Dragon Quest game that I ever played was Dragon Quest 8, a game from 2006 or so, I think, 7, on the PlayStation 2. I never finished it, played very little on it. <coughs> it had like... Uh, same style as the older ones. It, uh, the older ones were like for the Nintendo 8-bit system, the Super Nintendo system, and I believe uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, etc. Game Boy Advance. And, and Dragon Quest 8 was on PlayStation 2. So it had way better graphics than the older games, but the art style of the game was still made by the same uh, guy. Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball Z. So the style of Dragon Quest characters are very similar to, to, to Dragon Ball, actually. Okay, so this is a Dragon Quest 2 character. So the Dragon Quest 1 game, I believe, was to the Nintendo 8-bit system. So they predate uh, my gaming history, I mean. Uh, I believe the first console I owned was uh, Super Nintendo, so I didn't own the Nintendo 8-bit system, but uh, <coughs> some older cousins had a Nintendo 8-bit when I was a kid, so I did still play a few games on the Nintendo 8-bit system, but I never really <coughs> had that console myself, and uh, I never played any of the Dragon Quest games, they weren't big in, uh, in Europe and in uh, America, they, they were big in Japan. All the Final Fantasy games were big in Europe, so I ended up playing the Final Fantasy games. <coughs> I believe Dragon Quest VIII was the first one that really released in Europe. Maybe some Game Boy Advance games also released in Europe, but I didn't have a Game Boy Advance either, so I only played the PlayStation 2 title. Alright, here we have a Dragon Quest, uh, <coughs> Dragon Quest VI character. Dragon Quest 5 character, <coughs> Dragon Quest 2 character, Dragon Quest 1, ah, this is the slime, it's a common enemy in Dragon Quest. Ok, 
Okay, Dragon Quest 7. Dragon Quest 1, so this is the bad guy in the first game. From the 80s. Then we have Dragon Quest 3. Dragon Quest 2 again. Dragon Quest 4. Dragon Quest Monsters, they were on the Game Boy Advance. I believe you... I, don't, I could be wrong, but I think you captured monsters similar to the Pokemon games. <coughs> it released around the time when Pokemon was huge. Dragon Quest 8. This is a Dragon Quest 8 hero. So Dragon Quest 8 only had like four heroes. And then there was, I believe, a Nintendo 3DS version that had two more heroes. <coughs> Dragon Quest 8. So yeah, Dragon Quest 8, I believe, released on both the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo 3DS. And the 3DS version got more content. Two, two new characters, more dungeons and such. I believe it was released a few years uh, uh, later, so they, they got kind of an expansion, unlike the PlayStation 2 version. But the PlayStation 2 version looks better, if I'm not wrong. I think it has better graphics. <coughs> okay, Dragon Quest 4. Because the Nintendo 3DS is a handheld console, so it, it didn't have the same good graphics. Okay, Dragon Quest 4, Dragon Quest 5, Dragon Quest 8. Then we have the Final Fantasy characters. So we have Cloud Strife from Final Fantasy 7, Aerith, Lock uh, Aerith Gainsborough from Final Fantasy 7, and Tifa Lockhart from Final Fantasy 7. We have three characters from Final Fantasy 7 here. And we also have uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII, the evil guy. And then we have some Final Fantasy X characters, Final Fantasy Eureka uh, from Final Fantasy X Part Two, <coughs> and I believe Auron from Final Fantasy X. The way we see the names here now, I didn't see that previously. I don't know why these are named the. We aren't named. This is a slime, yeah. This girl is named Brooke. Coke. Robin. Draco. So the evil guy is called Draco. Angel is the name of that guy. Okay. Terry. Ryan. Kirill. Nira. Janus. From, uh, from Dragon Quest 8. And Jesse, Diana, Lena, Cloud, Aries, Tifa, Sephiroth, and we have Yuna from Final Fantasy X Part 2. I always thought she looked better than the Yuna from Final Fantasy X. Okay, and we have Yuna from Final Fantasy X, where she was a shaman. She was a pop star type character in Part 2, it's different. So yeah, but uh, she looked better there. Okay, Odorn, another character from Final Fantasy X, Riku, Final Fantasy X Part 2. And we have Pain, a unique character from Final Fantasy X Part 2. She was not in Part 10, uh, while Riku, I believe, was in both games. <coughs> And then we have a Mog character from Final Fantasy XI, an online game that I never played. And Tyrus, the main character from Final Fantasy X. Squall, Leonhardt from Final Fantasy VIII, the main character. Rino Hartley from Final Fantasy VIII, his main like love interest. He's, he's like the thief of Final Fantasy VIII. Squall is the cloud. And we have Vivi. Mage, the Black Mage, one of the main characters of Final Fantasy IX or IX. Roman letters. Unfortunately, this game didn't have many of the Final Fantasy IX characters and Final Fantasy VIII characters. It had far too many Final Fantasy X characters and too few VIII and IX characters. And I don't know why they decided to go for Vivi over Zidane, the main character. Anyway, we have Van, the main character of Final Fantasy XII, and this was 2004, two years before the game Final Fantasy XII released. 
So they included Van anyway, and his uh, main uh, like uh, love interest, like the thief of Falmancy 12, or Rinoa, uh, Ash. So we have both Ash and Van, despite Final Fantasy XII not being out. Okay. And we have Tartar, the uh, character from Final Fantasy XI, the online game. Handbook O is a Sukubo from Final Fantasy I. And that's the characters. They so already had the uploaded a video previously where I let the AI play as the Final Fantasy VII characters in the stage of Midgar. Here I fought. Fuck, you clicked the, the wrong button there. Normally you use X when you select things, but on Japanese games you, you select it circle instead. So I did a mistake there. Let's just pick some characters. Firm the stages in this game. <coughs> so we have Rabanastre. I believe that's one of the main cities that you start in in Final Fantasy XII. You have a left guard. I don't know where that is. Maybe Dragon Quest. Dane, don't know. Alexandria, that's a very important set, uh, city in Final Fantasy IX. Now oh, we can see the settlement uh, in the background. So this is Rabanastre. Final Fantasy XII Then I have Alfgard Probably Dragon Quest area And we have Trudain I would guess it's a Dragon Quest area And then we have Alexandria from Final Fantasy IX and We have Tikkun Probably Dragon Quest, could be wrong. We have Shrine. No idea where that is. Could be Final Fantasy X or something else. And then Fortuna, I don't know. Gold Saucer, that's Final Fantasy VII. So we have Final Fantasy VII stage here. Gold Saucer, with all the mini games and such, it fits this game perfectly. And then we have Midgar stage I choose for the AI gameplay I uploaded previously. Okay, so um, it's the main city in Final Fantasy VII, the Shinra Corporation. First section of the game is played out there. Abbey, I don't know where that is. Yggdrasil. Sounds like the, the world tree in Norse mythology. I don't know which game it is, but probably Dragon Quest. Besaid. Not certain. Yeah, Besaid, that's Final Fantasy X, I think. It's the area you start in Final Fantasy X. Or where we're back and, and, and others go. I think that's the area where they take the, 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 the boat trip leads to Besaid, I think. Magma, I don't know. The planes. Certain airship. Hmm. <coughs> there are airships in many of the Final Fantasy games. It could be any of the Final Fantasy games, to be honest. Of at least 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Renderak. Certain. Zenithia. What to say? Nalbina. Nalbina. That's Final Fantasy 8, I believe. Recognize the name. Alright, so that's the stage. Yes, we are not gonna play this game. I just wanted to show the, the intro uh, to the game and uh, the intro video and the stages and the characters. So there is a PlayStation Portable game that plays very similar to this. This has also been translated to English, but it's not a full translation. There are certain parts of it, certain sections that are not translated, unfortunately. But it's pretty much this game for the PlayStation Portable. It uses the same uh, models for some of the characters. Any character that, that is in both games have the same model. But unlike in this game, there are not the, the animations are different. So uh, they don't move as much. They are a little bit 
less uh, impressive there. Um, but that game has fewer stages and characters, I believe, and uh, also has different stages and characters. So we'll take a look at it next. See you soon in the same video. Right, <clears throat> so the PlayStation Portable game didn't have the intro video, unlike the PlayStation 2 game, which is two years older. This game has also been translated into English by fans, but not everything will be translated. This game has VLAN multiplayer, so you can play with others on the same computer if you use the emulator, or you can play with others using two or four PlayStation Portable. Check the party, one player. So here we have different characters. So Dragon Quest 8 we have the king who was transformed into this creature. He is playable. You can see that the graphics are worse. I am still using an uh, emulator here. I used the uh, PSSX2 emulator when I started the other game for the PlayStation 2. Now we are using the PPSS PP emulator for the PlayStation Portable. So we still have better graphics, I believe 10 times the graphical resolution of the PlayStation Portable. But they still look worse here than in the PlayStation 2 emulator. Okay, so we have that king is a new character for, from Dragon Quest 8 that we earned in the other game. We have Baltier from Final Fantasy 12. He's now playable. Because this game released in 2006. It's in the same year as Final Fantasy 12. We have Final Fantasy VII Yuffie, which is new for this game. Yuffie wasn't a character in the other game, so they added a new Final Fantasy VII character. Then we have a Dragon Quest character, Maribel. Don't know her. We have Alina, she returns. She was in the other game too. We have Cloud Strife, he returns. We have Tifa Lockhart. You see that she uses the same model, but it's kind of uh, less impressive here. I believe the, the graphics were simply better on the other and she moved more there, they removed some of the animations too. Okay, then we have Mina from Dragon Quest 4, new character, and Maya from Dragon Quest 4, another new one. Aerit, this time she's named Aerit uh, instead of Aeris. Uh, and uh, yeah, she looks the same, is the diverse graphics. We have Zidane from Final Fantasy IX, the main character. So they added the main character of Final Fantasy IX now instead of Vivi. And Bianca has returned from, Final Fantasy, uh, from Dragon Quest V. And we have Jessica from Dragon Quest VIII. Named Jessie in the other game in the translation. Her, na her name in the official game is Jessica. Van returns, the main character of Final Fantasy XII. Ash returns. Yangus returns from Dragon Quest VIII. Even Yellow again. Baltier. This is Baltier. Yeah. Then this guy is not Baltier. This is Bash, actually. Yeah. And then we have Slime. It returns. We have Penelo from Final Fantasy XII. Sephiroth return. And Sephiroth actually looked a little bit better here. The, the hair looked a little bit better, I think. Um, Kafer from, from Dragon Quest 7 is a new character. And Marcelo from Dragon Quest 8, a new character. We have Fran from Dragon, uh, Final Fantasy 12. So many of the Final Fantasy 7 characters returned, and we got the new one, Yaffe. And then we have a bunch of new Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy characters, including many of the Final Fantasy 12 characters. That replaced the Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, and uh, Final Fantasy X characters. <coughs> we got one nine uh, Final Fantasy IX character in Stain, probably because he wasn't in the previous game, and people wanted him, uh, maybe. 
but they cut all the Final Fantasy X characters in favor of Final Fantasy XII, and they cut the Final Fantasy XI characters, and they cut Final Fantasy VIII characters. So mostly Final Fantasy XII characters in the PSP game, which was a port of the game where they replaced a bunch of stages and characters. Okay. Still need to click on the circle to select van. Stages. We have about the same number of stages, maybe a few less. Guess we have uh, Neos, Bierba, that's a uh, Final Fantasy IX area, I believe. Crystal Tower, probably a Final Fantasy uh, stage. Santiago, I don't know. Dragon Quest, probably Lamia. Short Library, Train. Gorgeous Alexandria Return, Upra, Kalika, World 3, Dharma, and Airship. So we have a bunch of new stages and a bunch of old. So we lost many of the old stages here. Let's go to. We are, but that's Final Fantasy 12. Actually, let's go there. Start. Circle to play, yeah. This is a Final Fantasy XII stage. See that the, the, the dialogue in Bible 17. <laughs> the dialogue Bible 17 translated. Only the menu and names, unlike the other game. So you can't really understand what they are saying. Alright. Home is still possible. Nice. This game only the first player is controlled by the player and the rest are automatically controlled by the AI but we can set them to AI control. Okay, the first one. Uh, in the other game, I believe that all the characters are controlled by players uh, unless you set them to AI control. So this is... Uh, uh, in this game you only control one character in one PlayStation Portable. sucks that we do not have dialogues translated here. So yeah, I recommend the PlayStation 2 game. It is more translated. We have the dialogue and everything. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.